Well, it's Friday afternoon after work, and I want to try and get this done this weekend. So what I'm going to do is start working this afternoon on getting the engine compartment not cleaned out, but getting the stuff removed that I need to remove to install the fuel injection in the motor compartment. And then, that way once I have it mounted, I know where I need to run my lines to and from for the fuel system. So, I have the fuel tank out, and I have my new fuel tank along with all the assorted pieces and parts to put it together including the new uh, sending unit so I am uh, I think I have everything I need to uh, get done so that's what I'm gonna try and do I'm gonna try and get it all done so um, hang with me and we'll see what we can get done today one step at a time and the first step is I'm going to remove the carburetor because that's the easy part we'll, we'll start easy and take little baby steps and then we'll move to the fuel pump and then we'll see where we got to go from there but uh, those seem like a couple of decent places to start and uh, you know after a day of being at work for a long time getting up at four o'clock in the morning I think I need an easy day. So, we will leave this here. And I gotta go get something that came in the mail. I got some, uh, I got some Joe Gibbs Racing Driven Oil uh, with the ZPPD or DDP. So, um, I gotta go get it off the front porch. Yeah, I'm not gonna complain because it was a lot cheaper than some of the other places, including Amazon, but. The packaging leaves a lot to be desired, so I'm going to check and make sure everything's here. But as you can see, I got it from Jags, so I might have to uh, answer one of their customer uh, satisfaction surveys. I uh, ordered a case of Joe Gibbs Driven motor oil, and it came individually wrapped in bubble wrap. That's a new one. So yeah, it made it here safely. And then I got some oil dry. That's very light. So I don't know what the deal with that, but it's real. So, so as long as I have uh, as long as I have a 12, uh, 12 bottles of oil, I'm good. There's two, three. Four, five, six, seven, some stickers from Jags. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, it's all here. It's ugly packaging, but it's all here, so we're good. All right, step two, undo. All right, I'm gonna pop the old transmission off. Kick down, we've got the stock uh, throttle linkage, which is awesome thank you ford for that hopefully it fits on the uh the new throttle body um let me see what i got going on over here i have got my dual feed and i have my fuel pressure so i need to take that off take this off I don't know exactly where that goes, but it appears to be fine that it's not hooked up. And try to do this without maiming myself. So, alright. Give me a wrench and a screwdriver. Wrench 
and a screwdriver. Okay. And also, before I do anything else, I'm going to remove my battery cables simply because I don't want anything crazy to happen so we will remove the battery cables and try not to break my iPhone There we go. All right, we're unbatterized. I have the car about two feet in the air, which makes it a little bit more difficult to reach in here, as you can tell. Take off the vacuum advance. And there we go. We'll move the spark plug wires out of the way. By the way, this is a half inch. If you're wondering, I know you're not really wondering, but that's what it is. So, there we go. And like I said, this is a SMI, Sean Murphy Induction, I think is what it stands for. But uh, it's a really good carb. Um, you know. I just wanted to try out the old fuel injection. I like the quick start because I don't remember if you watched the MSD install. It doesn't like to prime real easy and it doesn't like to kick over real easy. So I'm hoping uh, cold starts will be helped immensely by the fuel injection. It's my hope. It's my hope anyways. My dogs are inside barking at everything because they're dogs. And I'm not in there with them, I think is the, the real thing. So. Down. I can move the accelerator pump out of the way. Hopefully you're not gonna fall. You know, a whole bunch of hope, please. I think tomorrow morning I might go get me a little bench stool. Since I got this up in the air. can only imagine that would help. Call me crazy, but... Go ahead, the neighbor's mowing his lawn. Hopefully uh, you can hear me. Hopefully the audio isn't terrible. This whole thing's new to me. Learning how to film stuff and making sure you can hear it and etc etc some of this is probably boring as hell but uh you know if you're really bored and drinking beer and watching me then you know it's worth it Ugh. this is the part my wife likes because we have an attached garage which uh, does wonders for the inside of the house and you have a uh, bunch of gas spilled all over the place. Carbureted fine, so there we go. Done. What are you doing? where I can't reach. 
use my little pea brain went back and got one of the ramps that is off I need to figure out the best way without taking everything off to get to the fuel pump and that I don't really know what it's going to be so I'm going to open my other box and see make sure I got the uh, fuel pump lock I'll play in and then I'll get back with you so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the uh, water coolant sensor out and put the new one in so that the uh, computer can tell what the water temperature is and whether the car's warmed up or not so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the uh, water coolant sensor out and put the new one in so that the uh, computer can tell what the water temperature is and whether the car's warmed up or not Can you hear Lucy? Do what? No. I think I might have like $12. Do what? What are you doing? I'm taking the uh, temperature sensor out to replace it with the new one that the computer needs. Right there. That's the new one. So the computer can tell what the temperature of the motor is. But it's not cooperating because I don't know what size it is that I have in there. If you know what I mean. And I got all this shit in the way. You know, but. Sometimes we have problems with that. <clears throat> the whole caring about shit. <clears throat> there, I got it. Get out of the way, you son of a bitch. So. But yeah, I don't know how the dude's doing, but I'm sure Morris Bart or one of those guys are pretty aware of his condition. Yeah. I would be. Like you hired somebody better than Morris Bart. Yeah. Yeah. Or the Womack. Put the Womack on him. Yeah, they're probably, last night, they're probably in the waiting room waiting for him. Yeah. What did they say on the news? It just said that um, there was an accident and the, the person has a collapsed lung, a uh, crushed pelvis, and other injuries. It was like one of those two minute deals. Yeah. Heath yeah. Allen was on the, by my work, doing a remote from Channel 6 News. What for? Well, I don't know. I didn't stop and talk to him. You should. Hey, dude, what's up? What's up, bitches? I guess I'm going. All right. Here, give me a kiss. Look at how my box came with my oil. And then, I got garbage in it, too. But so look how they, I ordered a case. They took it out of the box and wrapped it in both. Hasta la Winnebago. Have fun stirring that nacho cheese what oh you don't do nacho you what do you do french fries oh, okay
And now we install the new one. Dun 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 dun. Three quarters of an inch. Definitely goes in, so that's a good sign. <clears throat> Got a shorter wrench so it doesn't hit. conditioning hose and that's it for tonight like I said that's it for tonight and uh, we'll start again in the morning good morning um, it's the next day I am gonna continue with the install of the sniper EFI system um, there's a lot to do so I'm just gonna pick away at it one item at a time I think the first thing I'm gonna do is install the uh, the um, uh, O2 sensor. Would like to say thank goodness the neighbor is uh, mowing his lawn right now. So I apologize for the sound, but you know, nothing I can do. Nothing I can do. As you can tell, I had this prepped about three years ago. I knew I was going to do this once I had the, uh, the money saved up. So I planned ahead and had this installed and uh, it's one less thing I got to do now to get it to uh, uh, work with the EFI but uh and it's above uh, it's as required you know it's uh, not level it's got somewhat of a drop so that if uh, moisture gets on the sensor it will be uh, drain off of it um, it might be too close to the uh, the collector but we'll you know we'll figure that out as we go um, hopefully it's not too close but uh, you know what do I know and luckily it's easy access I've had cars that when you put uh, when you have to go and uh, change up uh, the O2 sensor it's a bitch to get to so there we go one more thing off the list of required items and I'll take my bung plug and uh, Put it somewhere where I won't forget that I put it, but I'll I'll probably definitely forget where I put it. Uh, the next step is going to be that damn uh, water, or I mean the fuel pump block off plate. So, um, you know, I'll get to that. Just looking for uh, make sure I didn't drop anything down here yesterday. I don't think I did. Hope I didn't. It would make a hell of a noise if I did. Oh, and it's in the sun. It'll make it even more interesting to get to the fuel pump. So I need a pair of pliers to disconnect the uh, fuel line from the fuel pump and a screwdriver. And then we'll go from there. The real question is if I can get to the top bolt on the fuel pump. That's the real question. Well, from down below, it doesn't look as difficult as it did from up top. I um, can say that uh, from the cobwebs, you can see the car has been sitting. But uh, hopefully I'm going to change all that quickly here once I get the EFI working. I don't even drive it to work every once in a while. So let's uh, take the fuel pump off and... I'm not going to film that because it's pretty boring and I don't want to get gas on the GoPro. So um, I'll uh, start filming again once I get it off. 
All right, well, I got the uh, fuel pump off, and now I'm going to put the block off plate on. As you see, I had to take off the oil filter to get to that top nut, but it was uh, a breeze after I took that off. All right, I scraped the gasket, and I don't know if you can see that or not, because I can't see. But, gasket scraped, now I'm going to put the cover plate on all right it's done put the uh, oil filter back on there's my supply line for the fuel injection and uh, there's one less line I have to run I'm gonna try and run the uh, return right along there but uh, we'll see what happens with that all right next step all right so I've uh, now got all the sensors in that I need to um, I have the uh, mechanical fuel pump out. I got the block off plate on. Um, I think it's time to uh, go ahead and set my uh, throttle body on there and see how everything meets up. So that's the next step. Hmm. got our itty bitty gasket on there I'm not going to use any sealant and uh, I'll put the throttle body on there there we go can you please please fit what's hanging up are out over here we got clean living right there okay this side's out go around the other side and take a gander oh it's the kick down I guess that's why I had to buy the low car kick down kit. All right. It appears that it fits. Let me see on this side. It looks like the front studs are a wee long, but I can work with that. The back one. Yeah, I think I can work with that. I don't think it's letting it sit all the way down, so I'm gonna have to do something with the studs. Either get some shorter ones, probably cut these down. Then at least I know where I need to uh, mount the stuff. Sitting pretty flush there. Now it's definitely I'd have a hellacious vacuum leak if I tried to make those work. So I'm going to take this back off and then uh, I'm not really calling it quits for today, but I'm going to call it quits for right now. I'm going to go to a car show, not with this, of course, eat some lunch, and I may or may not get back to it this afternoon. But, you know, we're getting there. Thank God. So thanks for watching. Um, I think this is going to be a stopping point for this particular video. It's not massively informative, but, uh, you know, it's a good stopping point. And then I'll start again with, um, fixing the, uh, mounting brackets or mounting bolts. And I'm also going to go get some carrier bolts for the, uh, the new gas tank. I'll have to install that. Um, but, uh. 
we'll go from there. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Please give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you got any questions, please put it below in the comments. I appreciate it, and thanks for watching.